guys, so today I'm going to be doing another huge pinhole. This has been collected over the past couple of months, so this is probably going to be the one of the last bigger pinholes you see of mine. I'm just sort of taking a step back from it, um, and I'm actually thinking about selling off some of my pins um, and really condensing it just to the ones that I really like. Um, so I, just, I know this video is going to be long so let's just jump right in. At the time of buying and trading some of these pins it was obviously the Disneyland 60th anniversary um, and I did buy a lot of commemorative pins for that reason. Um, some of the pins I bought came in this cute little Disneyland bag which is really nice of the seller to send. So I'm just going to delve right in and um, see what we can find. Because I did buy some of these quite a while ago, I can't quite remember like the seller or if I bought them or traded them, but I will try my best to give you like the correct information. As always, there'll be close-ups of the pins. The first pin is this Mickey Mini 60th pin. It is um, of the casting agency door that you can see in Disneyland, and it's almost like a pin-on-pin -pin effect. Um, it's just quite a, a thick pin and you can see through um, into the little glass and it says it takes people to make the dream a reality um, Walter Elias Disney um, and then it's got Mickey and Minnie in their diamond outfits next pin um, I believe is sort of just like an open edition pin and it's the Mickey hat ears um, with the 60th and the D and then it's just completely um, encrusted with all the diamonds um, really cute um, and just a very nice simple one to commemorate. The next pin again is a really nice huge pin and it's part of um, as well as this casting agency pin was part of the Diamond Decades um, series that they're still um, releasing over the couple of months. This is a huge pin and as you'll be able to see in the video it actually swivels um, so these two bits swivel. You've got a diamond in the middle with the partner statue and the castle and then you've got Mickey and Minnie and there's some little clouds with fireworks it's just a very adorable pin. This one is this it's almost like a marble sort of crystal dome effect you can see the castle and then in the two Mickey ears is Mickey and Minnie and it's just this really cool sort of crystallised effect. This one again a super pretty one um, it is really simple an open edition and it's Minnie stood in front of the castle she's got a huge sort of gem for her bow. Second to last one I believe of my 60th pins is this diamond with Mickey and Minnie and if you look really closely through the diamonds you can see the castle um, I just think all of the Disneyland 60th pins have been really really gorgeous um, hence why I've gotten so many and finally the last one was part of the diamond celebration collection but each month they'd bring out a diamond of a different colour and it would open to show um, a picture of Walt. I managed to get the last one um, and it is the silver diamond and it says to all who come to this happy place welcome and then you open up the diamond and inside you see Walt Disney and I knew I wanted to get this one. Um, I don't think I'll be collecting many of the other ones. Um, I kind of want to get one of the blue ones, but I'm not too fussed if I don't get any others, to be honest. Um, so I think that is all of the 60th ones. Next one is um, a Pocahontas pin, and I've really expanded my Pocahontas and Little Mermaid collection. Um, over the past couple of months. This one um, was a limited edition pin that was released at the parks and it is the 20th anniversary pin and it's got Pocahontas and Miko um, riding on their boat and I just thought it was really really cute. Keep sort of on the Pocahontas theme. I bought this pin for a really good price um, from someone in America and it is a um, Disney soda fountain pin and it's one of the princess calendar pins that were released in 2014. Of course this is the Pocahontas Miko one. So you see Miko on the front and it's all lovely and sparkly. And then you open it up, of course the month is November um, for Thanksgiving. The next pin is a really cool pin and I absolutely love it. It is a cast member exclusive I believe and it's um, it says 10th anniversary cast member. 
Um, on the back it says it's limited edition of 750 and it's a cast exclusive. came out in 2010. And it shows Minnie and Roy Disney um, in front of, I believe, Walt Disney World? Yeah, I'm assuming. And it's just this gorgeous pin, and it's sort of pin on pin. So um, Minnie and Roy are the statues, and it's actually sort of like coming out of the pin, and it's a really nice 3D effect. So I was really pleased I was able to get that one. The next pin was released in 2000 for the new millennium. And they did this with a number of different Disney princesses, but of course I had to get the Ariel and Eric version. They're just in their wedding outfits and sort of, I guess, celebrating the new year. It says, celebrate the future hand in hand. Um, and I just think it's a really nice cute pin. Next um, Little Mermaid pin I got is from Disneyland Paris, and it was released on one of their pin trading event nights. Um, and it is, of course, of Eric. It's just a really simple sort of cameo um, of him. And again, it's like a pin on pin. It's just really nice, really simple. And I actually don't have, I don't think I have any Eric like on his own pins. So I was really pleased to get that one. Next pin, I believe, is part of a series that they did a while ago. And it was all surrounding the 1950s. And they had each character in some sort of 1950s pose or dressed up or something like that. And I really, really want to get the whole set because I love the 50s. But I saw there was a girl in England selling this, I think, so I had to buy it. It was limited a release, and it is the mini pin. Um, she's in the diner, she's got her poodle skirt on. Um, the next pin is definitely one of my favourites and is starting to grow my Carousel of Progress collection, which, again, I've really added to this past couple of months, and I'm super pleased with the pins I've got. This I believe is quite an old pin. Um, even the backing on it, it says the Walt Disney Company um, and it's from Disneyland and it's just this really really nice, it's quite a small Carousel of Progress pin um, and it's my favourite attraction. Luckily they still have it, I don't know how long, at Walt Disney World. Um, but yeah, I just love this like really retro looking pin of it. The next one I believe I traded, this was an annual pass holder exclusive um, this year and it, I believe they did one for every park. This is the Hollywood Studio one and it shows Mickey and Minnie all dressed up. Um, you've got the signature tower and then it's a swivel pin and it opens up like, um, like a postcard and it says lights, camera, action. I only really have many Hollywood Studios pins so that's a cool one. I'm Disneyland Paris and I'm debating whether to retrade this or sell it. I'm not sure because it's not as wow as I thought it was going to be and it is part of this sort of macaroon um, collection that they did with the princesses. Of course I've got Ariel and it's like a green and pink macaroon and you open it up and inside you can see Eric's castle, um, it says Princess Tea Time um, at Disneyland Paris and there she is inside. Um, yeah, I don't know, I thought it was also going to be bigger as well so I was slightly disappointed with this pin but I'll see what it looks like on my pin board and make a decision then. The pin is a Mary Poppins pin and this is a D23 exclusive and it is this banner of the premiere of Mary Poppins. I just thought it was really different and unique and I thought it's not like the typical character ones that you see so I thought I really should get this for my collection. Mary Poppins is one of my favourite films so um, I was really happy to find that and it's just like so nice and retro and yeah I love it. Next pin is a Little Mermaid pin and it's for the opening of the Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid um, ride that they have in Magic Kingdom. Um, I got this in another pin. Some pins I'm not actually showing you because they're um, I'm trading them so I don't see the point in showing you if I'm already just going to trade them. Um, and it's got Ariel on the rock and Seagull, which I can never remember his name. Um, and it's just in front of Eric's castle and it looks like when you're walking past it at the theme park. It's a really cool pin because it is one of my favourite rides um, or attractions. Another Carousel of Progress pin and it's probably one of my favourites. Um, I've been wanting it just for ages and it's a Walt Disney World pin. 
Um, it is limited edition of a thousand and it shows Mickey and Pluto um, as if they are obviously the man and the dog. I um, can't remember what the man's name is but obviously the dog is Rover um, and I just thought it was really cute and he sat in his chair like he does in the um, attraction and I really really like this pin. This pin is quite a recent pin that I've got and it was sort of on a whim. Um, if you don't know, at Downtown Disney, or now they're renaming it Disney Springs, there is a large building called Disney Quest and it's basically an indoor theme park and I feel like it's not really mentioned that much. You sort of know all the main Disney theme parks but it's a great place to go especially if it's raining because it's all indoors and it's like all interactive and there's like you can make your own roller coaster and just all these really cool things unfortunately they're planning to get rid of it which I think is a shame but obviously they're not making enough money I guess to run it and I think they're making it some sort of like basketball experience I don't know so when I heard that I was like I need to get myself a pin to remember it by because it's been it has like really fond memories for me. So I got this pin, um, someone was selling it on Facebook, and it says Disney Quest Interactive Adventure Commemorative Edition Opening Day 1998. So I was two at that time, and I've been to Disney Quest I think two or three times now, and it's just a really cool place to go. Um, you can literally just let your kids loose in there, and yeah, I thought it was a really cool place. It's another Carousel of Progress pin. And this is part of the Dave Smith collection. I'm not quite sure where this was released. Um, it is a Disney official pin. Um, I'm not sure if he sort of like guest artist this pin. And it commemorates um, the New York World's Fair and when Carousel of Progress was opened in Disneyland. And it says opened July 2nd, 1967. And it shows a really sort of like vintage Mickey in front of the attraction and it's just really cool, very sort of vintage and retro looking which I love, I love vintage Disney so I'm really pleased that my Carousel of Progress collection's really expanded. The next pin I actually got off eBay and it was a job lot of pins which I usually shy away from um, because they're usually going to be fakes but I could tell this these were authentic pins as far as I knew. There was literally only one pin I wanted to hold with the job lot and I managed to bid for it really cheaply and the rest are just going to be good traders so it is this Disney Store UK pin limited edition of 500 um, this sort of pin on pin of Pocahontas and Miko in the boat. It's quite similar like, to this pin that I got um, and it'll be similar to another pin I believe I'll show you in a minute but they're all slightly different um, and the water is a really cool effect on it and it's like shimmery. So that's the only one I wanted. Um, the only other thing I kept was this Walt Disney World like little pin um, badge clip thing which you can like hook onto your belt or your bag and it's just a neat way of displaying your pins um, without like it weighing down on your neck. I did um, a lot of trading with people in sort of Japan and Hong Kong places like that and Tokyo and I traded some of the other pins but this is the one that I kept and it is this really cute Minnie Mouse pin and it's almost like she's wearing desserts which sounds really funny but um She's just really pink, really sparkly and girly, and I just loved the outfit she was in. The next two pins I got off someone in America. We traded for them, I think, and it's part of the Disney 12 Months of Magic pins. I can't quite remember when these came out. A while ago, I believe. And I got two of them, and they're the little posters. Um, I hope you can see this because of the plastic, but I'll give you a close-up anyway. So I got, obviously, the Aristocats pin. And then I also got the poster of Alice in Wonderland. I don't actually have a lot of Alice in Wonderland and I've traded most of my pins from it. But um, I really liked the poster effect in the picture. So um, yeah, and they have the year that they came out. So Alice in Wonderland is obviously 1951 and the Aristocats are 1970. So they're just two really cool pins to add to those little collections. The next pin is a Countdown to the Millennium pin. Um, and they released, in the lead up to the year 2000, they released a ton of pins um, to commemorate, um, obviously, the lead up to the new millennium. And I got the Mary Poppins one, um, and it came, it's 
got the silhouette of Mary floating over London. It says Walt Disney's Mary Poppins 1964. Um, and I think these were just released at the store. And yeah, they did a bunch of different um, films and shorts and things like that. So um, yeah, this was pin 59 and there were 62 pins to go. So yeah. The next one is a Magical Musical Moments pin, and this again, Pocahontas, it's pin number 14 in the series. It was released at the Disney Store, and it's um, the Just Around the Riverbend pin from Pocahontas. It's more of a face-on pin, um, this time of her and Miko in the boat, and it's got the lyrics Just Around the Riverbend with some music notes. I just thought, again, it's a really cute pin. I love any pin with Miko in it, so... I was like, I need to get that one. Next pin is a um, Little Mermaid pin, and it's part of the Paint the Night um, Conceal Reveal pins, which basically they'll show you a pin that you can get in the box, and then the other pin that you get in there will be a mystery. I believe this was one of the ones that was you could just see, so if you wanted it, you knew which box you wanted to get. Um, and it's for the Paint the Night parade. Um, and just thought it was a really cute pin. It's got all these like diamonds in the seashell and it's really really glittery. The next pin I'm going to show you is I believe my first jumbo and it's limited edition 1000 and it came out in 2006 and it's part of the princess storybook collection. It comes in this box so of course I've got the little mermaid and it is a huge pin just like in comparison to just this regular pin. It's really heavy really weighty as you can see it's got the little mermaid on the side and it just looks like a book. On the front you've got this stained glass of Sebastian and this is pin 5 of 5 that they did and then you open it up and it's like a again a pin on pin effect of Ariel and Eric. It's just really really gorgeous, a nice heavy pin and I'm excited to have my first jumbo pin. And two Pocahontas pins that I got. This one is just a nice little one of Miko. It's part of the Lanyard pin series which I think now is like Hidden Mickey series. Hidden Mickey series. Um, and the other one I got um, is again part of the Lanyard series and it's John and Pocahontas. Although I'm not wowed by the effect that this pin has so um, I don't know if I'll trade that or not. I've got this stitch pin and it's really really cute. I don't collect stitch that much anymore um, but I thought this was really cute and it says it's one of those days and he's just like slumped on the floor with a plunger on his head. I thought it was really cute, really funny. Um, yeah and then I've got the last three of these little ones I'm going to show you like Little Mermaid. So I've got this flower one which is really cute just got like the head and bust of Ariel. Um, unfortunately there are little sort of like marks on it um, but I'll just overlook that. One I knew I wanted to get because it looks like a Dr. Martin boo and I love my DMs and it's Ariel on this really glittery blue boo and it's actually the bottom of it is like rubber and the laces are like real bits of um, like lace. So that's cool. The next pin I got is to help complete, I don't know if you can see here, you probably can't. Um, I've got the post office stamp collection and this is one of the pins I didn't have. My dad bought me uh, quite a few of the set back in the day um, and I'm trying to sort of complete the set. And this is obviously the Ariel and Flounder pin which I think is really cute and is definitely one of my favourites in the set. Next pin is a, another Pocahontas pin. It's a Thanksgiving pin, and I don't usually collect Thanksgiving because obviously in England we don't celebrate it. Um, but this is a limited edition of 750, and it was a cast exclusive, and it says Happy Thanksgiving 2007 cast member. Really cute. It's got Pocahontas stood by the, um, I think it's a willow tree, um, and Miko is stuffing his face full of fruit or nuts. I thought it was really cute. Next pin is a Minnie Mouse pin. And I traded this with someone um, in the UK and it's really, really cool. It's like a pin on pin of Minnie driving in her car through Florida. Um, you've got um, the castle in the background and it says have a great time and palm trees. And I thought it was really cute um, and it's just a great little memento of your trip. And on the back it even looks like a postcard. I don't know if you can see that and it says have a great time. Really, really cool. The next couple of pins I got, I 
all, all together so I got quite a good deal on them. The first pin is a Tokyo pin and it is this silhouette of Ariel. I did have the Rapunzel one, I think I still got it um, up for trade but of course I wanted the Ariel one. It's really nice and glittery and it's on sort of a green background. The next one is was released at Disneyland Paris and it's part of the perfume collection. Um, I think it was Disneyland Paris. And this is the Fantasy perfume. Apparently it's scented, but I can't smell that. And of course it's Ariel's bottle. Um, it's just really nice. It's got these three sort of gems on it. So that's that pin. The third pin I got was this um, 20th anniversary pin. And it's Ariel and Eric on the boat with Eric's dog. Um, and they're in their wedding outfit. And it's really cute. I love the wedding scene at the end. Um, and I thought it was just a really lovely pin to add to my collection. And the whole reason I bought them all in the first place was to get this pin. This was a Disney Soda Fountain pin and it's my first Pin Traders Delight. If you didn't know, they um, obviously at the Disney Soda Fountain they um, you can get um, milkshakes and um, sundaes and when you buy this specific um, sundae you get a pin with it and the pins show a different character with an ice cream um, or a sundae or something like that and this is my first one and it is Eric holding a milkshake. So the next two pins are very nostalgic to me and I actually traded them which I was really happy about um, and I haven't got any pins from this series. Um, I do have a nostalgia collection, I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it consists of sort of like High School Musical, The Jonas Brothers, um, Hannah Montana, Kim Possible, Bear in the Big Blue House, like things that I remember from my childhood and these top it off um, and I was just so happy I could get them. The first one is a little Lizzie McGuire pin. If you watch Lizzie McGuire as a child then you are really cool um, and this is obviously her little character in it and it's really simple but I love this pin. And the other one was the That's So Raven pin which I was really thrilled about. This came out in 2008 it's got a little dangly flower on it and you can actually see like a couple of pictures of her in it but those were like my two like favourite shows growing up so I was really pleased to get those. The next lot of pins I traded with someone in Hong Kong or over that sort of side of the world. I traded um, six pins of theirs for a, a few of mine it's sort of, because mine were limited edition and I believe all of these are open edition. I will show you all a close up but um, I'll just keep them on the bubble wrap for now these two like car pins um so you've got mickey and minnie on one and donald on daisy on the other and then the next two are sort of old looking sort of um busts of their like heads i don't know how to say it. it's like cameos so you've got minnie in her little bonnet and then you've got mickey in like his really fancy regalia these two hong kong disneyland pins they're really glittery, they've done a whole series, um, but I got um, Marie and Piglet, they're both on like pink backgrounds. And the last pin is super adorable, it is Minnie and Marie, and it's just like, I think they're wearing like a lanyard together or a necklace or something, but it's very adorable. So I've got two more, or three more pins to show you, um, and then I've got a couple fantasy pins to show you, and if you didn't know, um, Earlier this month they had the Gen Iteration D pin event at Epcot, it's the annual pin event that they have there. They rename it every year, the year before it was the Imagination Gala, I believe next year it's going to be more Pixar based. Um, I'd love to go one year but I think it is pretty expensive to get tickets and stuff and you have to do a lot of waiting around. But they offer some amazing pins and amazing box sets and naturally I didn't want to get the whole box set so when I saw this person was doing like a pre-sale for individual pins in the set I was like I need to get them. If you're just curious I really like um, buying or trading from this um, person on Instagram um, she's Alison Pins on Instagram um, based in Florida and I've had I've never had any trouble with her so um, yeah if you're looking for like a reputable person to buy your pins from it's a good place to go. The first pin was in sort of, um, it's like a, um, a TV set, like through the decades box, and of course I wanted to get the really retro 50s one, um, and this is the limited edition of 300. On the back of them they all have the Generation D stamp on it, as well as all the usual information. And it's this almost like a pin on pin 
effect of the Mickey Mouse Club showing on this really old retro TV um, and it's got sort of like a little bit of plastic glass in there and the other pin which is definitely one of my favourite pins now that I own and it's all again like a little pin on pin it's a limited edition of 300 and this one um, marks um, progress land um, and it says progress land 1964 and on one side you've got um, the Carousel of Progress Man, I can't remember his name, I can't remember his name, um, and Rover, and on the other side you've got Mickey, sort of in the future, and it's a really nice pin um, to show the progress that has been made through the years, and it just really captures the attraction. The last few pins are fantasy pins. If you don't know what they are, they are non-authentic Disney pins and by that I mean they're like fan made or artist made but they're not tradable in the parks. Um, they are essentially fake pins um, but they are collectible especially on Instagram and you can find some really amazing pins that Disney just haven't created and it's this like punk sort of rockabilly um, Eric and Ariel on the boat during the kiss the girl scene and they're all sort of like like punk and rockified and they're in black and Eric's all tattooed up with a beard and I just thought it was so cool and the water is all glittery I mean the quality of these fantasy pins is like on most of them just amazing the next pin I got I actually have one to trade Again, it's limited edition of 100, and it's this Ariel and Eric silhouette pin um, with a really glittery background. It's just very simple and very beautiful, and you can definitely tell it's them. Um, yeah, so I've got one of those for trade if you want to trade. And the last one is definitely one of my favourites. Um, I believe it's, yeah, it's limited edition 100, so it's number 74, and it, there was a series of these that an artist did, but this is sort of my favourite one and because it captures my favourite scene in The Little Mermaid and that is at the end when she's saying goodbye to her dad and he's like giving them their blessing to get married and just live their lives and it's Ariel hugging her dad, King Triton on the boat and you just never see a pin that Disney's made like this so I knew I had to get it and that is all the pins I have to show. Um, I know it's going to be a really long video but like I said there's not going to be one like this big for a while now so hopefully you get your fix in from this and yeah remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video and want to see more from me and I will see you in my next video bye guys